Hi guys, I don't know about you, but I love to entertain in the summer outdoors and I like to change things out often. So I like a variety of different centerpieces that I can use on my outdoor patio table. So the first thing I decided to do was use my little shabby chic pots, which I will add that video how to make those all Dollar Tree items. Uh, what I did was I got a block of Oasis from the Dollar Tree and just filled each one. Um, I got this moss from my yard. You can buy bags of moss at the Dollar Tree and you can choose what colors. Uh, I just set the moss right on top and I didn't want to glue it. You, If you know me, you know I like to be able to, to change things out and I, I don't like things glued down if I if I want to be able to change out what's in it. So like I said, I just literally set the moss on top of each one and kind of poke it around the edges down in there a little bit so you, so you don't see any of that oasis inside. The only problem that I have with using moss from my yard is the occasional spider. <laughs> and I cut those parts out so you guys didn't see me freaking out. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've got all of my pots filled, I move on to my next project, and that is I got these styrofoam balls from the Dollar Tree, and I think they came in a pack of six. And I just start hot gluing moss straight on to each one of these two. It's actually thundering and lightning out today and raining and I thought this is the perfect day to just sit and do a craft out on my deck and so I got all six of them covered and uh, I, I love them I love how they look so after I've done this I can go ahead and start putting my centerpieces together and this is just a uh, candle holder that I had gotten I think at a garage sale or something spray painted it kind of an off-white and I like that it's uh, movable so I place it where I want it and because it's a candle holder it's got the the metal pick sticking up that you can set your candle on and it works perfect for these because it's styrofoam inside so they stay right on there So other than the, the moss on the candle holders, I literally just place my shabby chic pots filled with moss around the base of it and I love it. It's done, it's simple. It's the perfect centerpiece for outdoors. Uh, this is definitely something that's easy to look across the table and see your guest um, and be able to see through perfectly. Like I said, it's the perfect outdoor centerpiece. So for my next table centerpiece, I use one of the candle holders that I did in a previous DIY and I will add that video and this tin that I got at the Dollar Tree. Actually, I got two of those, but I'm just going to use one and a two pack of clay pots. So I start by lining the tin with just a, a thin bed of moss at the bottom. And my purpose for this is literally just 
for how it looks. It's not really serving a purpose. And I just pop two of those same styrofoam balls that I've covered with moss, just set them right on top of those clay pots, one on each side. And I set my candle holder right in the center and add a, a lit candle to it. Uh, which I also got the candles at the Dollar Tree. Now the only item that I used for this DIY that is not from the Dollar Tree is this hurricane cover. And it fits perfectly right inside that candle holder. And again, I place those shabby chic pots all the way around and I use all six of them. You know, I gotta say, I really love how this one turned out as well. It brings a lot of interest to the center of your table, but yet again, you can still see your guests perfectly across the table. So for this last centerpiece, I just use a classic lantern and a red candle from the Dollar Tree and these rocks that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I do have a few of like the flattened marbles mixed in with the rocks and I had gotten those from the Dollar Tree as well. And I start by putting my candle in and then just filling around the edges with the rocks, just very simple. And that's it. Like I said, very simple. And I just really love how the rocks look in there. It's kind of a somewhat of a zen look. Um, and I just set it right in the center, kept my shabby chic pots and placed them where I want them around my lantern. And of course I had to light my candle. It's beautiful. I love the colors and you know, the look may be very different for each one, depending on what you put underneath it. So I hope this gave you guys some ideas. Um, I'll probably have a few more of these type of videos because I love doing stuff outside in the summer. So you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.